ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sam Roberts Wrestling Podcast. Introducing your host from New York, here is Sam Roberts. Backstage at Caroline's Comedy Club, Ringside Fest with Dolph Ziggler. Dolph, what's the haps? Just chilling, man. Had a nice little signing, a couple hours worth, and it kind of flew by because a lot of fans were very excited to see us, luckily. You look around like a room when you're at Caroline's like this. Hey, you haven't performed at Caroline's before, have you? I have not, uh, but there's been a little bit of talk back and forth between our, our two people, so hopefully we can set something up really soon. Let me ask you, last time I talked to you, I think it was the last time we talked, we were talking about Amy Schumer. This is what upset me. Uh-oh. What was John Cena doing in that movie? Because I feel like that was loosely based on her life. You're the big muscle dude that she dated. I don't understand why Dolph Ziggler was not in the film Trainwreck. Uh, I don't know. Uh, if that turns out to be the case, that that's what he was doing, and I, uh, I <laughs> have you seen, seen it? it. I haven't seen it yet. Okay. I haven't seen any movies in ten years, but I'm sure it's great. Uh, Amy's hilarious, so yeah. And uh, I remember her writing it years ago, so I'm sure it's fantastic. Uh, I haven't seen it. Would have been nice, mm-hmm. but. Uh, about time, you know, John Cena got something. <laughs> yeah. give, give the kid the rub. I'm happy for him, you know? Good. You're right. How do you feel about the new generation coming up now? Because this is, like, the first generation after you. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of people are still waiting for Dolph Ziggler to have oh, his yeah. his run. Especially my uh, parents. But mostly, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it's it's cool because uh, everyone likes Attitude Era. It was so cool. It was so fun. And now we have guys who are really awesome at wrestling right and um i get a lot of crap for saying that these young like the guys my generation and behind us or on their way up are so good that it's not even close and you can complain and argue about everything ever but cool the attitude era wrestling was really in Mm -hmm. for 18 to 34 year olds like love it and now we have all these guys who are so awesome at their job and uh, it's a totally different era, but I'm very excited for how good everyone is. Do you get to actually wrestle in front of people who like wrestling? Yeah. Instead and of it, just like, what, what's, what vehicle do we have this week? Yeah, what stunt are we doing now? What? Yeah, exactly. And it, was, uh, and it was a cool time. It's just there's so many good guys and there's so many people who, ha- who are on our roster who don't even get time on TV because we have so many good superstars right now. So everyone's going to get their chance at some point, And I'm excited to help them out or do whatever. Do you like that it seems like whether it's Raw or SmackDown or Total Divas or whatever show you're on, it's kind of centered around your relationship with women? Uh, yeah, it's kind of weird because, uh, well, I mean, I get it. Like, I, I have a yeah. mirror, right, so right, I, right. I understand the deal, but it's really funny. <laughs> and it, it, here's a, a, a lot of people get bothered because for the longest time I was in random cold matches for 30 minutes and tore the house down for no reason. Yeah. And everyone complained, why isn't he in some kind of a story? Right. Now I'm in a very different type of story on all those shows you just mentioned, and mm-hmm. everyone's like, can't he just get two seg matches? Where he, like, <laughs> hey, guys, you got to go back and forth. I'm finally getting some character development. It's on Total Divas, right? But right. we're getting we're getting down to some real life stuff, and it's pretty good. Well, speaking of Total Divas, last question: How do you function in a locker room when there's previews for the next episode of Total Divas, where you're asking the base, biggest guy in the company's girlfriend to have children with you? Like, how does that work out politically? To be fair, I didn't ask her to have children. I said I know how to do No, I'm just... It's, uh, it's uh, after a while, you reach a certain point to where you know what your talent is, you know what you're capable of, and you have to not care. Right. And 10 years ago, Attitude Era guys told me to step on some toes. How am I not doing that right now? Uh, yeah, that's, a, that's like, about the dude, biggest you toes have, you can step you have on. to not give a damn right. to stand up for what you want to do, and that's what I'm doing. And I guess you're good enough and you've been there long enough that the Fs yeah. are no longer given. Mm-hmm. Not for a real long time. <laughs> good for you, Dolph yeah. Ziggler. Good talking to you, man. Thanks, brother. Hey, it's Sam Roberts. I hope you enjoyed that wrestling interview from Sam Roberts Wrestling Podcast. You can go to NotSam.com to subscribe to that podcast, but I upload videos like that on this YouTube channel all the time. So if you don't already subscribe, subscribe now. It's on the side of the page. I made it real easy. Click the button. Subscribe to the page. Subscribe to the page.